in the economy this week. Economic issues were discussed at the debate. We'll take a look at inflation, business owner confidence, and household debt. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. Last Tuesday's debate easily stole many of the headlines. Nothing that either candidate said about the economy was anything that hasn't been discussed already on the campaign trail and left us with no real economic answers to what is impacting us now, like inflation. Inflation in August fell to its lowest level in three and a half years, further clearing the path to a widely expected interest rate cut next week. On Wednesday, the Labor Department reported that the headline Consumer Price Index increased at a monthly rate of two-tenths of a percentage point in August, which was in line with economists' projections. That helped to reduce annual CPI to 2.5%, a tenth of a point below the consensus estimate and the lowest level for year-over-year -year CPI since February 2021. That's the good news. The not-so-good news is that core CPI, which excludes food and energy prices, proved more persistent than expected in August. Monthly core CPI rose three-tenths of a point, which is a tenth of a point faster than economists had projected. As for annual core CPI, that came in right where it did last month, landing at 3.2%. Analysts suggest a slight uptick in core CPI is enough for Fed officials to take consideration of a 50 basis point rate cut off the table when they meet next week. In other news this week, on Tuesday, the National Federation of Independent Business announced that its Small Business Optimism Index dropped 2.5 points in August to land at 91.2. It's the biggest one-month decline in more than two years and effectively erased nearly half the gains realized over the prior four months. The August reading also makes the 32nd consecutive month the index has come in below its historical average of 98. A closer look at the data reveals the news was pretty bad all the way around. Eight of the index's 10 component measures lost ground in August, including a nine-point decline in sales expectations. 37% of companies reported weaker earnings, which is the largest percentage since 2010. Additionally, a related measure, the Uncertainty Index, which gauges business owners' expectations six months down the road, climbed to 92 last month, its highest reading since October 2020. And as for the biggest issue facing small business owners in August, that remained inflation, with 24% of survey respondents saying it represents the single most important problem they have in running their operations. Finally this week, the Federal Reserve revealed that consumer debt surged in July to yet another record high. On Monday, the Fed announced household debt grew by $25.5 billion in July, more than double the $12 billion increase economists had projected. Excluding mortgage debt, outstanding consumer credit now sits at an all-time high of $5.09 trillion. Revolving debt, which primarily is fueled by credit card activity, jumped by $10.6 billion accounting for nearly half the total increase in July. Analysts say that soaring credit card balances continue to be a function of the broader financial pressures that U.S. households are facing amid persistent inflation and interest rates that remain at 23-year highs. That's all for now. This is Devlin Steele for Augusta Precious Metals, signing out.